Hello everyone, this is Chandan and you are watching the learning field. So this is the lecture of numerical analysis lecture 4. Okay, we already discussed or we already uh, discussed the three lectures of numerical analysis. The first one, like the first lecture in numerical analysis is in errors and the second uh, and third lectures are the solution of transcendental and algebraic equations. Okay. So, I will share the link of the playlist of numerical analysis in the description and here in the i tab also. Okay. So, you can get the full playlist um, of numerical analysis lecture 4 and this uh, lecture series is very helpful for get CSR net and uh, any state level set examination and any other higher, higher math exam okay and we already or we mainly focused on focused on the syllabus of gate okay because the gate syllabus is very big syllabus as compared to cs and net syllabus and set syllabus so that uh, these two exams are already covered in the gate syllabus okay so uh, we now starting in this lecture the interpolation and approximation okay and uh, what the errors in interpolation and also uh, and in the gate syllabus, the syllabus is error in interpolation, the topics are error in interpolation, polynomial interpolation, polynomial and Newton interpolation. But we all know that in Newton interpolation, there are Newton forward, Newton backward, Newton forward, Newton backward and what? And also, here we get divided difference, Newton divided difference. This is also in interpolation formula. Okay. So there are various types of formulas. We now we are solving just a second. Just check whether I am live or live or not. Okay, so this is the basically syllabus of uh, numerical analysis or the syllabus of interpolation. Okay, so the first lecture is on the uh, errors in polynomial and Lagrange interpolation. Okay, so first we just see the what is the interpolation. Okay, so this is the interpolation. What is interpolation? Okay, so let y equal to fx be a function whose analytic expression is not known okay but a table of values of y is knows only at a set of values uh, x0 x1 x2 and xn of x okay there is there is no other information given about the function fx okay that is uh, if xi is equal to yi, i equal to 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 n. Okay. That means what? That means we don't know what is the analytical formula of y equal to this fx. Okay. We don't know the analytical formula of fx, but we know what we know if uh, the values of some point, suppose at x0, the values of the function fx0, suppose this is given. Okay. x0 and xi and fxi. Okay. These two are given, suppose x0, the value at x0, suppose, suppose this is something value given, x1, this is value, something value given, but this analytical formula of fx is not given, okay. There is no other information given about the function y, okay. Uh, that is f of xi equal to yi, this is uh, the given information. Now, the problem of interpolation is to find the value of y equal to fx, okay. That means first we need to find the analytical formula or an approximation analytical formula for this function fx and uh, according or based on this uh, analytical formula we have to find another values. Okay. So this is the problem of interpolation. A polynomial phi x is called interpolating polynomial if y i equal to fx i this is equal to phi x i. Now we call a polynomial unknown polynomial uh, sorry a polynomial phi x. Uh, is known as interpolating polynomial if y a y is equal to fxi equal to phi of xi for i equal to 0 1 to n and or that means what 
in this case the values of the function fxi is known at this point or it is also may happen that its derivative some suppose something other derivative that is here i take k other derivative it can also be given at the same points okay this is also one type of interpolation you can say this for some finite k and x dash is one of the values of x0 x1 and x2 and xn okay so this is the case now there is a theorem okay there is a theorem the theorem says that uh, if the values of fx continuous in a b then for any p assigned positive epsilon greater than 0 there exists a polynomial phi x such that mod of fx minus phi x is less than epsilon okay for all x belongs to open interval a b okay so this is the uh, theorem regarding this interpolation okay so this is the theorem now it comes to the lagrange interpolation polynomial okay so what is lagrange interpolation polynomial now let y equal to fx be a real values function real values function defined on the interval close interval a b let x0 x1 and x10 be n plus 1 distinct point in the interval a b okay and y0 y1 yn be the corresponding values of y at this point that means what these are xi's and these are yi's okay the, suppose these values are given at some points that is yi equal to fxi for i equal to 0 1 to n are given okay now we construct an algebraic polynomial phi x of degree less than or equal to n which attains the assigned values at the points xi's that is what that is this uh, phi of xi this is equal to yi for i equal to 1 to n that means what is the funda main funda so suppose fx is an unknown polynomial or is a function whose analytical formula is not known okay and uh, just it is given the some values of um, some points xi of the of this function fx we take an another function phi x and we uh, equate this uh, phi, yi equal to phi xi at those values and based on this uh, function phi x we have to find the function or we have to find the, an approximation function you can say okay the analytical formula of this uh, given fx okay so this is the main funda now it comes to the lagrange polynomial so this is the lagrange polynomial now this phi x what this phi x is called the lagrange interpolation polynomial okay sorry or oh, sorry 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 this phi x is called the interpolation polynomial interpolation polynomial and the points x i is are called the interpolation points okay x i is are called interpolation points or nodes you can say okay interpolation points or nodes where <coughs> now the let the what polynomial phi x can be retained this uh, now it uh, just comes to the lagrange interpolation polynomial okay now the functions phi x this phi x is equal to what we can write this phi x equal to summation n equal to 0 to n l i x okay into y i okay see where this l i x is polynomial in x i okay this l i x means what l i means l i is a polynomial in x i okay and what vanishes only the points this this polynomial vanish at the points what vanish at the points x0 x1 to xi minus 1 xi plus 1 and xn okay xn okay so xi li vanish at these points okay just a second yes therefore we can write this li xi this is equal to what you can write the definition of this function this is equal to 0 when i not equal to j li xj okay li xj and this is equal to 1 for all i equal to what j okay this is the case well, and here this uh, summation summation li x this is equal to what where li is the polynomial in x of degree less than or equal to n degree of the polynomial this ln xi this is equal to less equal to n okay this li xi is called the lagrangian polynomial
Lagrangian polynomial. Okay, therefore you can write this polynomial Lix vanish only at these points. Okay, these points. Therefore we can write Lixi. This is equal to Lix. Lix equal to we can write a zero into x minus x zero is the a zero is the coefficient into x minus x one. Okay, x minus what? X i minus one. X minus x i plus one. Since x Lix is vanish at x equal to x i, therefore we can't write this a, here x minus x i. Okay, this is very clear and so on x minus x n okay so this is a polynomial of degree less equal to n can be make okay now uh, where a is the constant whose was value is determined uh, uh, whose value is determined by using the relation what is the relation li summation li this is li xi this is equal to 1 okay li xi equal to 1 then we can write what we can write then we can write a i into x i minus x 0 x i minus x 1 and so on x i minus x i minus 1 x i minus x i plus 1 okay and so on x i minus x n this is equal to 1 since li x i equal to 1 okay that means what that means this a i equal to this value of a i this is equal to what is equal to 1 by x i minus x 0 x i minus x 1 and so on x i minus x i minus 1 x i minus x i plus 1 and x i minus x n okay so the value of the coefficients are this one okay therefore we can write l of i l i x this is the polynomial okay so l i x this is equal to what a i into x i a i means what x i sorry x i no, no x i x minus x minus x 0 x minus x 1 so on x minus x i minus 1 x minus x i plus 1 and so on x minus x n x minus x n by this one since this is the product and this a i is the coefficient so this is equal to x i minus x 0 x i minus x 1 so on x i minus x i minus 1 and x i minus x i plus 1 x i minus x n okay so this l i x is the Lagrange's polynomial formula okay this is known as Lagrange interpolation polynomial or polynomial okay Lagrange polynomial okay this is like this is the formula uh, when we provided some points we have to calculate the uh, analytical formula by using we use this formula okay so the required Lagrange's interpolation polynomial which we take which is phi x this phi x we take here now we find the value phi x therefore the uh, we already write this phi of x this is equal to what summation i equal to 0 to n what l i x into y i okay we already write this therefore we now put the values but l i is given by this equation okay so l i is given by this suppose this is equation number 3 i think i already given the equation 1 and 2 so l i is given by what l i is given by equation 3 okay the polynomial a l i can be written as also this uh, polynomial can be written in the product form that is uh, equation 3 can be rewritten as this l i x this is equal to what this is equal to product of j equal to 0 j not equal to i to n what x minus x j by what x i minus x j okay we can write is as the product form as this one okay therefore in this notation product or summation notation phi x can be written as what phi x can be written as 
So phi x equal to what? Phi x equal to summation. So we put the values of Li in the above formula. So this is equal to summation and summation product relation is summation i equal to 0 to n product of j equal to 0 j not equal to i to n and x i minus x j sorry x minus x j this is not x i this one is x minus x j by x i minus x j into y i okay so we can write in this form now l i x can also be expressed in another form what is the form let us take also we can uh, express uh, l i x by taking an w x so this is another form you can check the others book also so this is equal to let if we take let omega x equal to x minus x 0 x minus x 1 x minus x uh, sorry x 2 and so on x minus x n if we take this polynomial as omega x okay be the polynomial of degree and this is the degree of n plus 1 degree polynomial since here uh, 0 to start and n therefore this is an n plus 1 th degree polynomial okay now we find the derivative of this function w x okay so derivative of this function w x which is equal to we can write right uh, x minus x 1 since if we uh, see product wide derivation okay derivative to x minus x 1 see, derivative of this term is equal to 1 and remaining are uh, here present okay x minus uh, x minus x 2 and x minus x n okay this is the first term then the second term derivative of second term this this is 0 derivative of second term is 1 then this is x minus x 2 and so on x minus x n okay and plus so on we can write what we can write the last term is x minus x 0 the derivative derivative of last term x minus x 0 x minus x 1 and so on x minus x n minus 1 th term okay so we can write omega dash at at the point x i this is equal to how can i write uh, write x i minus x 1 how can we write or why we can write this x i because we have to convert uh, this uh, both term okay this upper term and this lower term that is the numerator term and the denominator term that's why we put the values x i uh, okay because if we put this value x i at the uh, value uh, at the point x then we can write this term also in the in terms of omega x okay or omega dash x okay so this is the reason that's why we write this one okay so omega dash x this is equal to what x i equal to x i minus x 1 then x i minus uh, sorry x i minus x 0 this is x i minus x 0 x i minus x 1 and so on x i minus x i minus 1 and then x i minus x i plus 1 okay and so on dot 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 x i minus x n okay which is the denominator of l i x okay so this is the denominator of what of the function l i x you can see this the denominator of l i x is what this term so this is the omega dash x i term okay so that means l i x becomes what this is the l i x so l i x how can we write this l i x therefore we can also write l i x this is equal to what uh, see here the term omega x equal to this one okay therefore we can write l i x this is equal to omega x by what by x minus x i into omega dash x i okay so we can write this term okay i think this is clear that this is another expression of lagrange interpolation polynomial okay so in lagrange interpolation polynomial in terms of omega x now phi x this is the lagrange's function so phi x equal to how can we write phi x why you can write so phi x this is equal to summation i equal to 0 to n i equal to 0 to n omega x by what omega x by x minus x i into omega dash x i okay so this is the lagrange interpolation okay so this is uh, the case of n plus 1th 
degree polynomial okay now if we take an example then i think uh, it is very helpful for you now if we take an example first okay so obtain the lagrangian interpolation polynomial what obtain the lagrangian interpolation polynomial for fx the value of x equal to 0 f are given okay what is the values f of minus 2 this is equal to minus 5 we have to find at f0 fx at x equal to 0 eh? okay the values are f of minus 1 this is equal to minus 1 and f of 1 this is equal to 1 these three values of given we have to find the values of f of 0 okay that means first we have to calculate or we have to find the interpolation first okay so here here what x0 equal to what x0 equal to minus 2 this is x0 this is x1 and this is x2 okay x1 this is equal to minus 1 and x2 this is equal to 1 and f at x0 this is equal to minus 5 f at x1 this is equal to minus 1 and f at x2 this is equal to 1 okay now the approximation polynomial formula is what polynomial approximation this is equal to summation i equal to 1 to 2 since there are uh, three values are given okay that means the degree of the polynomial is what degree of the polynomial is, is equal to 2 because n plus 1 th, if n plus 1 th node is given or point is given then the degree of the polynomial is 2 here since uh, three nodes are given therefore the highest degree of the polynomial is 2 here so this is equal to li x into f of xi okay that means what this is equal to we can also write if we write the complete formula then we write here l of x or fx equal to we can write if we calculate here fx then this is equal to we can write x minus x1 into x minus x2 by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 since this is first term therefore we can't write or we, we don't write the x minus x0 term okay so this is the formula you can see um, where i equal to 0 to n this the formula is what this one okay j is equal to 0 to j not equal to i okay so this is not uh, here we don't write the uh, i 0th term first okay so into f of x0 term okay plus what then x minus x0 into x minus x2 in by x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2 uh, okay into f of x1 plus what x minus x1 into x minus x0 x minus x0 into x minus 1 by x2 minus x0 into x2 minus x1 into f of x1 okay this is the formula now we put the values of x1 x2 and x0 so this is equal to what x plus 1 since x1 is minus 1 i think yes this x1 is minus 1 so x plus 1 into x minus 1 by by what minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 into minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 into f of uh, the value of f of x0 is f of x0 is minus 5 so this into minus 5 okay plus plus what x plus 2 into what x minus 1 by uh, by what minus 1 plus 2 into minus 1 minus 1 into f of x1 value is minus 1 so this is into minus of 1 plus what then x plus 2 x plus 2 into x plus 1 by by 1 plus 2 
into one plus one. Okay, into f of x two means this one. F of x two means what? This value is one into just a second into one. Okay, so this is the value. So this one, this is equal to uh, x square minus one by what? By three into minus five. Okay, then plus the next value is uh, x square plus x minus two by minus two into minus one plus the next value is x square plus three x plus two by six into one. Okay. So this is the total values. So if we calculate, then we can write here. I write the final answer: one minus x square, one minus x square plus x. Okay. So this is the polynomial. Now we can find any values. Okay. We can find any values. So we have to find the values x zero. That means Just a second. We have to find the value. That means what? A of zero. This is equal to what? One minus zero plus zero. So this is equal to one. Okay. So A one. The value of this. This is equal to minus one. I think you can understand this example. Okay. So this is the application of Lagrange interpolation. Now we did one thing, which is. linear lagrange interpolation what is linear lagrange interpolation okay so linear lagrange interpolation what is linear lagrange interpolation okay so let x0 and x1 be two given points okay that means what this is the n plus 1th degree and uh, for linear degree Therefore, the number of node is two here, x zero and x one, and the y i is are y zero and y one are the corresponding value of y. Then in this case, what the value of phi x is equal to what l zero uh, x into y zero plus l zero uh, l one x into what y one. That means what? That means the complete uh, formula is what. X minus x one by x zero minus x one into what into y zero. That means a of x zero plus x minus x zero by x one uh, minus x zero into a of x one. Okay. So this is the formula. So we can write here what uh, in this case we can write the general formula is what. A of x zero plus x minus x zero by x one minus x zero into A of x one minus A of x zero. Okay, so we can write this one. We can write this one. Okay, this is the formula you can say the linear Lagrange interpolation. Okay, now Lagrange's. Uh, and one thing also here very important is that lagrange's interpolation formula can be apply applicable for any case that means there are two cases uh, happen in the numerical analysis one is equispaced nodes equispaced and second one is unequispaced Okay, Lagrange is applicable in both case. Okay, but Newton is not. We uh, discuss uh, it later in the class of numerical uh, Newton's method. Okay, and here you can see uh, this is a very simple question, and this is equispaced. Okay, minus two, then minus one, and then uh, minus two. No, sorry, it is also notable. See, minus two minus one difference is one, and one minus one to two difference is two. Therefore, this is not uh, equispaced. This is unequispaced. Nodes, okay, uh, and equispaced node means what? Minus one, zero, and one. These are the equispaced nodes. That is, x i's are the difference between any two x i's are same. Okay, in that case, uh, we call the nodes are equispaced, and in this case, it is also not equispaced. Okay. 
now uh, lagrange's uh, i think this is the lagrange's interpolation now there is a theorem okay there is a theorem regarding lagrange's interpolation mm, what is the theorem the theorem says that the lagrange's the lagrange's interpolation polynomial exists and unique okay exist and unique okay so this is very important theorem then if lagrange's interpolation exist also and unique also okay now uh, some properties we see the some properties of lagrange's interpolation okay some we see some properties of lagrange's interpolation properties of lagrange's interpolation one property number one is what Property number one is the lagrange's function depend only on xi the lagrange's function lagrange's functions means l okay lagrange's function depend only depend on xi okay and independent of y is and independent independent of y is y is means what or f x is okay so lagrange's interpolations are independent of this y is number two is what number two is the form of lagrange's functions remains unchanged the form of lagrange's functions remains unchanged unchanged that means in my under linear transformation under linear transformation okay now the next one is number three number three is what sum of lagrange's functions is equal to one that means summation l i x this is equal to what l i x equal to one i equal to zero to n okay this is number three so there is uh, three properties we discussed three properties now it comes to the error of what error in interpolating polynomial this is very important which is error error in interpolating polynomial error in interpolating polynomial okay so here a theorem regarding the error the theorem says that amount of error okay this theorem gives the amount of error okay let i be an interval contains all interpolating points all interpolating points x0 x1 to xn if fx is continuous if fx is continuous and have continuous derivatives and have continuous derivatives of order n plus 1 for all x in this interval i then the error at any point x
is given by what this is en x what en x equal to x minus x0 into x minus x1 into dot 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 x minus xn into f of n plus 1th derivative at the point xi by n plus 1 factorial where xi belongs to what this xi belongs to any point in between interval i okay so this is the theorem regarding the error in interpolating polynomial okay now there is a note what the above expression gives the error this expression is the gives the error in interpolating polynomial okay this is the expression regarding the error in interpolating polynomial okay now if m plus 1 be the upper bound of now if m is the upper bound of is the upper bound m is the upper bound of um, sorry f power n plus 1 into xi in i that is what that is this happens f of n plus 1 xi mod of this value this is less equal to m n plus 1 since uh, this is the name just okay in i then the upper bound of n x then the upper bound of n is what n mod of n x this is less equal to sorry mod of n this less equal to what this m this is just the suffix by n plus 1 th factorial into mod of w x ok into mod of w x and we already know what is w x ok this is an formula you can say ok mod of upper bound of the error is this one ok now errors for equispaced points ok errors for equispaced point it is a note also note for equispaced point that means the points are equally spaced ok equispaced point ok x i equal to what let x i equal to x 0 plus iota h for equispaced point we can write each x i in this form or i equal to 0 1 2 n we can write and x equal to x 0 plus s h we can write x0 plus s h then x minus x i x minus x i this is equal to s minus i into h we can write okay therefore in this case error en x equal to what en x equal to the error is this is equal to what s into s minus 1 into s minus 2 into dot 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 s minus n into what h power n plus 1 into f n plus 1 xi by n plus 1 factorial this is the formula for the equispaced points okay and the above formula is the first formula which we already read this one is for any case ok and for equispace this is a special formula you can say ok this is the error now what now it comes to what is the error bounds this is also very important error bounds ok just a second so this is error bounds for equally space point I just write the errors, error bounds of the 
points okay so um, assume fx denoted by ab that contains the equally spaced point suppose fx and derivatives up to n plus 1 th are continuous and bounds on the interval x0 and xi okay then what happens for n equal to 1 okay for n equal to 1 e n x the error bound for n equal to 1 this is equal to h square m2 by 8 okay as 0 x0 less than x less than x1 for n equal to 2 mod of e n x this is less equal to what then h q m 3 by 9 to 3 these are just the notations m 3 means the upper bound of this one okay we just denote by it m 3 okay 0 less than x less than sorry these are the equality less equal to x 2 okay for n equal to 3 we can write mod of this is you can write also e1 e2 mod of e3 x this is less equal to the upper bound is what h4 m4 by 24 okay for x0 less equal to x less equal to x3 okay so this is the special cases and for n equal to 1 that means uh, what the degree of the polynomial is uh, uh, this is the linear polynomial and this is the second order polynomial I think uh, yes and this is the constant polynomial okay this is the case I think am I right or wrong and this is the n equal to 1 means n plus 1 is the degree of the polynomial uh, sorry this is the case of uh, linear polynomial quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial I think you just uh, see it once okay am I right or wrong you can comment me in the comment section okay now if we take any example regarding the errors okay suppose if we take example fx equal to cos x for x belongs to for all nine, x belongs to 0 1.5 okay this is the case determine the error bound for linear quadratic and cubic land and just polynomial yes these three are for the for linear this is for linear this is for quadratic and this is cubic okay these three are the formulas okay that means <clears throat> we have to calculate what f dash says i think this is the formula so now we calculate what mod of f dash x equal to what mod of f dash x this is equal to we can write what this is equal to sin x since f dash x equal to uh, sin x okay mod of f x equal to sin x mod of f double dash x this is equal to what mod of cos x again and f of triple dash x modulus value this is equal to again sin x okay these are the derivatives uh, modulus value modulus value of the derivative okay and f of fourth derivative we need of x this is equal to what this is this is equal to also mod of cos x okay now f double dash x f double dash x this is equal to what mod of f double dash x this is less equal to less equal to this one okay this is equal to what cos of 0 because the cost highest value of cos is what 1 and at the point x equal to 0 it occurs okay that means this is less equal to 1 we can write this is equal to 1 okay this is equal to 1 that means that means since this is the for the quadratic polynomial therefore m2 uh, i think m2 it should be 
sorry m1 so m1 this is m2 means oh, sorry 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 yes this is m2 m2 means error in linear polynomial this is equal to 1 okay the upper bound uh, is m2 now for f triple dash x okay f triple dash x this is less equal to since sine function is increasing in between this one therefore the highest value occurs as 1.5 sine of 1.5 this is the highest value and sine of 1.5 equal to 0 0.997 okay 0 0.997 4 i think therefore this implies m3 this is equal to 0 0.997 okay and for f 4 dash at the point x this is less equal to again cos that means cos is highest at 0 means cos of 0 this is equal to again 1 okay therefore for the polynomial formula for equal space point h of the point 1.5 uh, point is uh, 1.5 okay for linear polynomial the spacing of h spacing spacing h equal to what 1.5 minus 0 okay this is equal to 1.5 spacing okay and its error bound is the errors are what the errors are mod of u1x mod of u1x this is less equal to the formula is h square m2 by 8 which is less equal to 1.5 whole square into 1 by 8 which is equal to 0 0.2812 okay e1 this is the e1 and for quadratic polynomial h equal to or quadratic polynomial h equal to what we can write b minus a by n this is equal to what 1.5 by minus 0 by 2 this is equal to 0 0.75 okay 0 0.75 therefore error value is what error e2 mod of e2x this is equal to what this is less equal to hq m3 by 9 root 3 which is less equal to what 0 0.75 whole cube into 0 0.997 by 9 root 3 this is equal to 0. Point, this is equal to 0. 0.026 something okay this is the error and for cubic polynomial h equal to for this is for n equal to 2 and for n equal to 3 that is for cubic polynomial but h equal to what b minus a by n means what 1.5 minus 0 by n means 3 here okay and error bound is what e3x this is e3x this is less equal to what the formula is h s h to the power 4 m4 by 24 okay so this is less equal to 0 0.5 all to the power 4 this is equal to what this is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 all to the power 4 into 1 by 24 this is equal to 0 0.0026 this type of what something okay so this one is the error of the three cases that is for cubic for uh, quadratic and for the linear order uh, polynomial of lagrange uh, interpolation okay so this is the content for today's video okay so we'll discuss the next uh, videos uh, next topic uh, i think newton uh, we, we will start the newton newton interpolation okay newton interpolation forward backward and divided difference so this ends today's class if the content is helpful then please give a like to this video share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you friends see you again in the next video thank you